Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with your deck deck, and today we're playing some more Factory Town. So in our last episode, we basically got all of our farms running, and I did move the uh, the entire village. I've got these coming in, but if I go to this view right here, you can see we're losing gold coins, so I kind of need to play with the levels in today's episode. And also, we should be able to get all of these wrapping around here, <clears throat> because that catches all 60 of them buildings. So does that, and so does that. Anyway, let's not faff about with that right away. We need to get these levels sorted, and it's going to be best to work backwards. So, let's max you out, and see how many fish you use, and how quickly you use the fish. Right, so you can put one of those out basically as quickly as we can bring fish in. Admittedly, this is backlogged. 33... Yeah, this needs to be boosted a bit. We can change all these again when we get the earth and air boosters and all that jazz, but for now we can't do that. <clears throat> that looks like it's sticking. So the fish, we don't need to play with anymore. Excuse me. Well, that was a nice quick one. You can see that I ran out of um, magic belts, unfortunately. Uh, we've got 23, so... It doesn't really matter that I've got normal belts on this bit, because this is just the supply run. We need to get the building outputs right now. Like I said, that is working fine. So let's go to the next kitchen along. And you need to be maximum output. And we need a lot more berries coming from this. Let's just go up to five for now and see if that manages to keep up at all. We'll just leave it up. I saw some backing up just a touch there. Jesus, that's at 700%. <clears throat> You've got to think these will backlog at some point. You know what? Let's just turn all of these to maximum output for now. Turn you all the way up. Turn you all the way up. Oh, I also did turn the power... Well, the amount of people we've got in here. We're still at 100%. <clears throat> It's exactly perfect at the minute, which is absolutely brilliant. But it does look like we are going to need some more coal, because they do seem to be eating through it a little bit. Um, anyway, where were we? You're at five, you're at five, you're at five, you're at five. Good. Fruit juice, are we starting to back up a little bit yet? Are you starting to fill up a little bit yet? No, no. And neither of them are backing up yet. Fruit juice is nearly backed up. Fruit juice does look like it's going to start stockpiling. And we are maximum filling the berries. I actually think that will do for that. I do think that's slowly ticking up, so I think we can leave this now. It is 60 and it is 60. I'd say that's full. <clears throat> How about fish? We're not fully supplying the fish yet, unfortunately. Maybe we need two kitchens for this, but I'd rather not. If we've not got to. It is supplied. Yeah, let's leave that for now then. Uh, so you're definitely not getting enough grain. Let's put you up to five and see how that copes. You're not getting enough water. Oh, I never put a grabber on there. I'm an idiot. I was just checking I've got grabbers on all the rest of them. Uh, now that can't pull out quick enough. Oh, we need to go to the grain mill, don't we? We need you to be boosted. I mean, you're producing grain as quickly as is possible. Does that mean you're now producing bread as quickly as is possible? No, there is a slight pause. But I'm thinking maybe with the boosters this would be fine. I'm definitely going to have to turn coal up a touch. Let's just put you up to three... I'm just going to put you up to five because, I mean, we've got another 300 workers nearly. <clears throat> and I don't want to run out of coal for any particular reason. It seems if it's in there for about a second, that's going to be fine-ish. Could this go down to four? It keeps it in 10. Look how fast that grain's coming out. That is ridiculous. I don't think we'd be able to go any lower than 4. <clears throat> and is this fully saturating bread? Um, no. 
our grains are not being fully saturated. It might help if we had a... Um... No, I don't think that's working properly. Or enough. I don't really want to get another grain mill. Maybe this is going to have to do. Are we even breaking even yet? Occasionally we're breaking even. Alright, let's work on the next one then. So you definitely need more beef. And you definitely need... We can't boost this any... Well, we can't upgrade this anymore. You need more workers. And for that we're going to need more animal feed coming in. So the grain mill has got to be turned up. And you have got to be turned up. We'll go to about five again. Although that one seems to work with four, so maybe four is the maximum we can go with. I'd like to see that one go solid. Maybe it would be better going to five. It seems like the one's getting a little bit more constant. <clears throat> You're nearly fully saturated. Still not quite getting there, is it? Let's go six then. It just puts out that little bit quicker. Now that's starting to stockpile. Which means that will be getting sorted as quickly as is possible. Because this hasn't got any breaks now. <clears throat> so hopefully this won't get any breaks either. Which gives us the most beef we can supply. Into this. Um, beef. We're not quite producing enough to make it work. Excuse me, but we are kind of getting there. Again, we're going to have to come back and look at these at another point. But for now, as long as we can get this kind of working. Is that water running out, really? I mean, none of these are running out of water, are they? No, no, and no. It does seem to be getting awfully close. It's alright. I've got an easy fix for that. In fact, um, what do I want? B, A, and magic conveyor belts. Just to make sure I don't forget this. I don't mind having all these as normal conveyor belts. Because it's going to be quite easy to replace them. If I'm missing little ones like this, then I might not think about it later on. That does seem to be hitting 10. Nah, it doesn't. So we definitely need six workers. Fair enough. We'll leave that one. <clears throat> Next up is chicken. And we want to get you... Oh, you're already turned up. Duh. So we need to get the pasture turned all the way up. And you need to go... We'll just go to five for now for the chicken. So that immediately starts capping that out. So why doesn't that one work at five then? Because this isn't using as quick. It should be using as quick. Duh. That's why. How are you doing for animal feed now? You're basically producing as much raw chicken as is possible. To the point where this is actually starting to stockpile raw chicken. Wow. We can't put chicken out at a greater speed than that. I mean, it's a much greater speed than what it was. Chicken, that should definitely fill out. I think fish and beef will fill out eventually. Berries are maxing now. So that means that, that line will be stopping and starting occasionally, meaning more can come out this way. We'll just leave it at five for now. So that's chicken sorted. Next up is our eggs. Turn you all the way up. Turn you all the way up and get you up to... We'll try five. You know what? Just turn all of these up to five. We'll work on the maths at a later point. Up to five. Up to five. And you're already at five. We will have a problem with the milk. We're definitely going to need another milk farm. <clears throat> Absolutely going to need another milk farm. You're not quite managing to stockpile that, are you? Let's go up to six workers there. Just see if that helps a little bit. It's just managing to keep up. Look how fast the milk goes through. That is ridiculous. 
So it's things like this we're going to need air boosters for. I think we can turn coal down a little bit. Will two be enough? Just want to see that coal bar go purple. It's not going purple. Three's going to have to do it then. Yeah, we've definitely got more gold coins coming in there. And it's nice to see the red coins backing up as well. It'd be even more nice to see all of these filled out. I don't think milk and butter are going to cut it. I think we're going to need two separate farms for that. But I mean, what I could do is have another milk farm over this side. I didn't really want to come this side because I want different things down here. But if it works, it works. But you know what I'd really like to start working on this episode? I did just want to see if the fruit juice was working a little bit quicker. I mean, we can't pull any more out. We could have two little rows of this going in, but me, It's fully saturated. That's fine. Fruit is good. Chicken is good. Beef and fish are getting there. Eggs are good. Really, vegetables should be good as well. Oh, the carrots. Let's just go to five. Oh, let's just go to four. Because we're not really using the carrots for anything else at the minute. There's no reason for us to lack on the vegetables. Now, fruit and vegetables are good. The grains get in there. Milk and butter are going to be the only problem for a little while. That's fine. We can leave this for now then, I think. But yeah, what I want to get going this episode, and it does seem to be getting awfully stuttery. You can't really see I'm watching on my other screen where I'm recording. You can't really see it, but I can feel it playing the game. It's a bit stuttery. Yeah, I think we want to start making Omni Stones somehow. So we can start making the temples. It is going to require the other ones as well. So we've got Fire Stones over there. Did I mention at the start that I'd hooked these up? That's why we're still getting red coins. We're not getting blue coins because this isn't hooked up to anything at the minute. We need the herbs coming in. Although, why aren't you pulling out? Oh, they're not meant to be producing it, are they? These are meant to be producing it, yeah. I'm not that worried about blue coins at the minute, and it's nice to see the purple coins stack up. Um, yeah, we want to make Omni Stones. Do you make that in an elemental refinery? No. How about a magic forge? No, we already figured this out last episode, didn't we? You want it in a mana reactor. So for now... I'm just going to slap this down arbitrarily there. Oh, it needs mana power to go with it as well. Oh my god, you're not asking for much, are you? Um, we've got fire stones over there. We've got earth stones over there. We've got wind stones over there. Where our water stones are over there. So we can do this fairly easily and we can just add to the mess for now. You can go there. Uh, you can go there. Just come down onto this one, and onto this one, and into there. Oh. Didn't realise I'd done that. It'll be fine. <clears throat> so that can come into there. That's water stones coming in. I don't really want to pull from the air stones, but unfortunately I'm going to have to. Um, Right there. I probably should have got this on before I did that. Never mind. And you can come straight across to there and into there. Fire stones, we can split. Oh, right there. So then we can go up on that one there. And you can come this way and oh, go in like that. Then we just need to get the earth stones in, which kind of already come to this point anyway. Let's just cut this back a little bit. And then we can go over the top of there. You know what? I could actually just bring it on top of this. No, I don't see the point in bringing it on top of that. Let's just bring it to there. 
works, then you can go straight into that. Across there. Across to that one. Across to that one. <clears throat> Let's have a ramp going up there and there. And you can come in like that and in like that. Beautiful. Where are my mana shards? Can they reach under there? I want it facing that way. Right there. No, it can't go under like that. <clears throat> oh, they come down right there. I'm an idiot. Because we've got to get some mana power going this way as well. That looks dead cool. <laughs> Why am I not getting any air coming in whatsoever? No air either at all. What's happening, dudes? We're getting no air stones coming in. I kind of need to be able to supply you with pickaxes, don't I? Have I got pickaxes anywhere in this area? <clears throat> I don't think I do. Is there any other air stones locally? Although, I've got a mine over there. How about I pull air stones from you as well? Because if we just put air stones underneath this, like that, oh, I need to remove some resources there. We've got gold underneath us. Uh, prospect air stone. Yeah, go like that. Oh, meant to click on that one. And go like that. Because we've got all these labelled anyway. Uh, you also farm me airstone. And you're going to pull out this way. Airstone like that. Happy days. And you can basically run straight in. To that tile there. You go that way. Because we will get some still coming from this occasionally with the uh, with the regen. But we're going to need proper ones coming out. And this mine's already set up. We have got pickaxes coming in this way, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Let's set you up to five. <clears throat> what are we on? 383 workers. We're doing fine there. Right, there's the air stones finally coming out. So we're going to get air ether coming in again, which is going to get this powered... Eventually. I wonder how we can get this to go under there. Because that's going to be a slight problem. We are going to have to get it into the school somehow. Ooh. And I can't cut this back anymore. Let's set the power up while we think about this. Um, we know... Oh, I didn't mean to go into farming there. We know how we want to set power up. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mana transmitter. You can go right there. And we can get our mana pipe. And you can come from that. Oh, has it got to go there? No, I need to get it going into there, don't I? That's why it's being a bit weird. Then you can come this way. <clears throat> I can have my... The game is proper stuttery nowadays. We can have our mana receiver right there. We can have our rechargers there, there and there. Oh, it's getting a little bit... I mean, I don't want you to wrap all the way around. We've made our first Omni Stone. Are you not going to work? That's how I want it to go. 
go like that. And then we can put that back in there. You come out that way, that way, and that way. And we can have grabber, grabber, and grabber. And you can then all come this way and go back in there. <clears throat> so we've got Omni Stones being made. Admittedly, we do need Omni Stones coming into here. Let's start with the... <clears throat> I mean, the Fire Temple would probably be the easiest to go with first. But we need to get all of them at some point anyway, so... Yeah, let's just go Fire Temple for now. I wouldn't be able to get it in there. I might be able to squeeze it in there, but it's getting just horrible to get things in and out of here. And I don't want to cut my redstones off yet. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. You know what? We don't need these books going this way anymore. So how about we try and get it to come this way? Will that work and not block the mana gems off? Because I basically want you to come down to that height. <clears throat> That's correct. And go there. And we can have a grabber coming out this way. There's our Omni Stones. I need to cut that back now. Because otherwise this isn't going to continuously keep flowing. You can add different boosters to this as well. What the hell? <clears throat> Omni stones do seem like they're going to take quite a while. We can go all the way up to five workers. But it doesn't really matter because we've not got many air stones coming in. Because we're still using those to go all the way to over here. So we've got some magic belts coming in. That might be why it is potentially better to get the... Um, air temple done first so we can get the magic belts up and running I mean what uses fire things over this way is it the kitchens they use fire boosters <clears throat> it's not really the kitchens we need to boost though is it if anything it's the grain mills which are air the farms are earth we don't really need to boost the farms although we could take workers back out of there yeah, it's air we need first. I think I'm going to have to stop making the magic belt for a little while. Just go there and there. So I can have a splitter coming that way. At least if I do it like this, then I'm not exactly cutting the line at all. I'm just evenly distributing it. <clears throat> we need so much more air. Air seems so useful. And we can't speed this up at all. Oh, I just tabbed out a game there. Didn't mean to do that. Why is there no way to speed these temples up? Speeding the temples up would be dead nice. Alright, how's this doing now that it's had some time to settle in? We're full on eggs, berries and carrots. Actually, we've managed to get butter most of the way up. How's our coins doing then? We've still got a few random things going all over the place. So yeah, I guess I can see why it's not fully capped out. But I do, don't think we can turn any of these down still. Like, if I turn that down one. It starts falling. Yep. How about carrots? I think carrots we might be able to get away. Nope. We need four workers for that one as well. At least we've got Omni Stones being made. Excuse me. Even if it is, just ridiculously slowly. You've got to think. One comes this way, and then... We get one come this way, and then that splits twice. 
Well, I guess this gets more. So the mana reactor is going to do as much as is humanly possible, I guess. It's the school, if anything. No, that's getting there quite quickly. We've just got to wait for a hundred ticks of this. Cool. Cool. No, I'm going to swap it to air first. Yeah. Air it is, then. I guess what we can do for a little bit, then, is start flattening some more terrain. So, where are we going to start making, like, stuff for our blue coins? Because I'm thinking, like, we can have one direction for each. So, yellow coins are going to come from this way, and this is going to be all the farming district. Then we could have maybe red... <clears throat> uh, no, I want blue maybe off to this side, because it's more watery-based. I don't know why, but blue this way. So, we could have red this way, and purple over this way into the desert. So really, we want to start flattening this out as much as possible. Just while we, you know, kill some time. Ready? So let's make sure I've got this all to the right height first. It seems like I have. Because if I click there, now that's one too small. Yeah, that's what we want. <clears throat> Just so you can see what I've been doing off camera, really, is the reason we can do this. I know I've done it a fair few times now, but you can see it again. And I've been removing all resources as well, which is taking even more yellow and red coin, which is why I wanted to keep the supply coming in of both of them. You've got to think, this is a rather mountainous area, so if you just watch the red coins as I flatten this section off, you'll see just how many of them we're using and how quickly we're eating through them all. Because I'm telling you, it is real quick how fast you get through all of your coins when you're doing stuff like this and I want to do this with the entire map I mean it's going to look more like a sandbox map by the time we've done unfortunately but I will add some rivers and stuff in when we've got the layout we want it's just I don't want all these mountainous areas I did uh, originally plan that I was going to have that's a lot of earth crystals uh, I did originally plan that I was going to have, like, the farming plateau a little bit higher up and, like, the crafting ones lower down. We've got a giant mountain over this way. Look how fast the red coins are going down. But we don't need to come this way, even though I've just, like, used most of my red coins. That was a little bit ridiculous, wasn't it? Yeah, let's keep branching off this way. So if we can set up the area for our red coin production, then maybe we can set it up in a way where we get red coin at an adequate speed. You know, I think that's enough flattening for now. Let's start removing some resources. Because it's like, these use yellow coin, which at the minute we're going to be fine for, because we know we've set them up properly. But I want to remove underneath as well. We could just mine all of this out. It's going to take forever though, and I want to do it in my own certain way. As you've seen with the uh, the farming district that we've uh, set up rather haphazardly. It does seem like I'm going to need even more planning for the other areas. Because it will get more convoluted as we get further in. But what I've thought for the actual town centre. Rather than having all different um, lines going in. We can just have barns. And I don't know about the logic things. But I could just get like one wagon for each thing. Taking resources in. Rather than just having like every wire, uh, every conveyor belt going in, in every direction. We don't want conveyor belts everywhere going into the uh, the main city. Not for everything, anyway. I think I got a little bit crazy with what I've uh, done early on there. But it's like we needed the basic resources coming in. We needed wood, we needed stone and all that. And that's how we had to set it up. So that's what we went with. The red coin does seem to be coming back in kind of as quickly as I'm attempting to talk. Which is nice. Hopefully we get the air temple sorted out today though, because so then I can maybe increase them grains. Well, no, I can just increase the air production. And that way we can get more magic belts in without actually having to rip all of it out straight away. Which would be kind of nice. We've got a little bump in the mountain there still. Oh, well, not in the mountain, in the ground. So we've cleared all that area out above ground. If we then click this, we've got to remove resources under the ground so we can get rid of those uh, horrible grey patches. I only want them where I absolutely need them, around mines and stuff. 
It is good that these only cost yellow coins. <clears throat> well, that's probably why it was better to set them up first, wasn't it? As in, properly. I'm getting proper hand cramp just holding my mouse button doing this. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Cure mom. Get lost. Oh. <laughs> I know. Proper not even mass clicking or every anything and I'm complaining about having to hold a button. How dare I? Cure mom. Get lost. As you can see, I did already get rid of a lot of the resources around this area. Because we didn't need them anymore. I've left them connected. That's why I wanted to try and get pickaxes this way, but it's just not going to happen. <clears throat> and as you can see now, apart from this little tuft of ground we've got right there, that's all wonderful. Let's see if I can raise all or most of this. I'm glad the fisheries don't actually need schools of fish around to um, catch things. It seems like they're just for fishing boats and stuff. Because if we needed actual fish around, that would have been a slight problem. We're not going to be able to get rid of all this water just because of where that belt is for now. Although I could actually take all them belts back to their magic belts and we don't need magic belts there. Although we're going to need them everywhere anyway at some point. I, I also want to know if I'm going to be able to delete the original temples when I um, can actually make my own. So we've got another nice flat area over there. We can get rid of this little bit of water as well. Because them temples may get in the way of things at some point. And I'd rather they didn't. That belt is hideous. I'm not deleting it yet. There's actually no point to deleting it, so... We'll just get rid of these resources in this little um, nook that we've got here. And then we'll go and see how our area temple research is getting on. Maybe the game will lag less once I've got rid of all the excess resources that we're not going to be using. Just because there's going to be less on the map. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Again, not that it looked too laggy. I've not actually watched any of my episodes back all the way. I kept circling that tree there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, not that I've watched any of my episodes back yet, but it doesn't seem laggy on my uh, recording screen over there. Just get rid of the underground mines as well, because we don't want all this here. It's going to take me absolutely ages to remove all resources, which is why I'm trying to do it off camera. But I don't want to start like another big project yet. How are you doing? Still fine. Milk's still not quite getting there. But again, we are splitting that, so... The alternative would be just have a milk farm on... No, I'm not having a milk farm on the end, because this is as close as I really want to get. It's more stuttery on my screen than it is on that screen. Anyway. How are we doing there? Oh, that is the barn. I didn't want to click on the barn. I wanted to click on the school... Oh, God. What have I done? That was meant to go like that. Can I actually see the mana tiles coming in? Why is that getting stopped? Because there's an air thing coming in here. If I delete something out of here, then it should be fine. Because we don't need all this beef and stuff in here anyway. Yeah, I can't believe I made that mistake. So the research hasn't got very far at all. It's kind of upsetting that you need four of these. We've actually filled up on them. And filled the belt up. What the hell? <laughs> That's just how slow air stones are. And yet we've massively overproduced all the rest of them to the point where they're all backed up. Although we aren't really using any of the other stones for anything. The air stones we are using for other things. How many man magic belts have I got? Only 98. That's a little bit poor. I don't really want to make you sit and watch me anymore. Well, 
I do want you to sit and watch me. I always want you to sit and watch me. That's the entire reason of doing this. But I don't want you to sit and watch me getting rid of resources because this is very dull. So I think I'm going to end the episode off here. And I'm just going to wait around for a bit. Because it's not like we're losing... What? Oh, it's because I was doing things. I was about to say, what the hell's happening there? They use a lot of coins. Not very often, like, but they use a lot of coins. Although, if I'm only doing air power down this way, then it's not going to use millions of coins, is it? Because once we've saturated the uh, the mana pipes, it's going to be fine. So I need to not think like that, I guess. Yeah, it'll be fine. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to finish the episode off and just, like, mosey about flattening things and removing resources while I wait for the... Um, a science to be researched because that is going to take an awfully long time anyway i won't be building anything off camera so don't worry but that's going to be it for today's episode so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always and other than that i'll see you guys next time cheers <laughs>